to Sustainable Development Goal 16, Peace, Justice and Strong Institutions aims to advance access to justice for all and to build effective, accountable institutions at all levels. And I'd like to illustrate this through a live example of one small local based initiative in York, UK. York is a relatively prosperous city in the north of England, which like all urban areas has pockets of deprivation and poverty that may be neglected or unrecognised by policy makers. Whilst the UN SDG adopts a top down strategy, the focus here is on what can be done when small local based bottom up initiatives emerge to deal with the pressing problems of homelessness in a world where rising prosperity has passed people by. Small local based community based initiatives serve to strengthen civil society and improve the social fabric of local communities. Organisations with very clear social missions can help enable socially disadvantaged people, such as the homeless, share in the economic benefits of tourism and advance the rights of people by empowering them through training, mentoring and support. Social inclusion features strongly in the work these institutions do and they are necessary if we are to build more equitable communities and strengthen civil society. A good local example can be found of strong local institutions in pursuit of justice can be found in uh, York where the good organisation is working with homeless people to make a real difference to people's lives. The good organisation is a community interest company that is focused on principles of inclusive governance and building effective partnerships to address the wicked problem of poverty in the area through making contribution to local tourism. They collaborate with other organisations to help homeless people in York. There is no formal regulatory or legisl legislative framework guiding institutional development. It is driven by a shared passion and aims to improve the situation. It is certainly helped by the Joseph Rowntree Foundation, a large national charity based in York, established by a businessman over 100 years ago to address poverty and social change. Just Joseph Rowntree Foundation provided seed funding and are willing to share their extensive knowledge and experience of influencing powerful and influential people throughout the country and to help build sustainable community organisations. The good organisation adopted the Joseph Rowntree Foundation approach to framing poverty, uh, to convey messages that effectively influence people. The good organisation's poster campaign went viral, generated international media interest, garnered many Twitter comments and followers, and the posters are now part of the Poster Museum collection in New York. Bottom-up approaches to community development have been proven to make a difference and the good organisation is an example of a small yet strong institution that aims to be financially self-sustaining and aims to reduce its dependency on grant income which they achieve through enterprising activities such as the provision of local tours, production of postcards and other tourism related services all of which serve to give them a large degree of financial independence. The use of self-advocacy as a means to empower homeless people serves to further social inclusion and promotes the good civil society. Connecting the big macro SDG goal 16 with local examples of real world practice and success helps to transform lives, improve opportunities and promote social justice and inclusion. Thank you very much.